The one exception is Lord Robert, Lord Robert Dudley. And she was in love with him. There's absolutely no question that he was the only man she ever truly loved. My true opinion is that she will never marry. I know Her Majesty as well or better than anyone else. We were friends before she was eight years old. She has always said she would never do so. But if by chance she should change her mind, I'm practically assured she would choose no one else but me. She told me so herself quite openly on more than one occasion. But even love is just a pawn in the Queen's game. Elizabeth is willing to sacrifice Lord Robert. She knows he'll always be loyal to her. If I had ever wanted to take a husband, I would have married him myself. But being determined to end my life in virginity, I wish that my sister should marry him. Being matched with him would remove out of my mind all fear of usurpation before my death. He is so loving and trusty that he would never suffer such a thing to be attempted. Mary is insulted by Elizabeth's suggestion that she should marry Lord Robert. He's not even a very high aristocrat. He's the son of a traitor, and he is Elizabeth's discarded suitor. Do you think it might stand with my honour to marry a subject? Being assured of me, you might let me marry where I best like. And Elizabeth has this sort of weird idea that they will have a sort of menage a trois at Elizabeth's court. I mean, it's, it's very strange. If the Queen, my sister, is pleased to live with me in household, I will gladly bear the charges of the family, as shall one sister do for another. I do mind to use my own choice in marriage. I will no longer be fed with yea or nay and depend on uncertain dealings. 